blessings. Y'all ready? Happy Independence Day. I'm doing a video today for Independence Day. 222. Solely because of that. And I'm, and I'm thinking about it. I might not do one tomorrow. And actually on the holiday. We'll see. But I promise my wife fireworks. And my family fireworks. I didn't even know I was being called Burner Boy. That's cool. Lazy Bone was Alberta. Burner Boy. Ignite Burn. I like that. that. Makes sense. That's tight. I like that. Bugs Money. I like that, baby. Hey, yo. Anointed. To the end of time, the Beatle Loka, Caribbean King, huh? All of us together. I already got that yacht. We do. On that note, here are my wings. <laughs> I just like grew wings. Can you just picture it? Use your imagination, right? Hey, just because you can't see them doesn't mean it ain't there. It goes for a lot of things in this life. It's more than imagination. <gasps> it's like the song Magic by Coldplay. Magic is real. It's called God. God magic. It's beauty. It's beautiful. It's pure. It's light. It's warm. It's, it's beautiful. It's 144 Hebrew us, and we give it to the whole entire world, no matter what you look like. White, black, brown, yellow, purple, pink. And that's so true. So just like, uh, just because you can't see it, doesn't mean it's not there. Just like angels gathering around right now. Or my wife and many wives. Just because they're not here right now. You know, they're out getting, um, they're out getting daiquiris for the holiday weekend. Girls day, girls. Doesn't mean they're still not here. Think about me, spiritual and etc. Connected forever. Key to marriage, 144 swag. And that's, and just like, you know, God appears in the smallest places. How do you think David defeated Goliath? You know, they, you know, it, it doesn't have to be, you know, they say in a room of like two or three, God is present, but it's just one. Like, it can just be one, but that's the, in reality, it's, that's where all the angels, everybody gathers around, ancestors, beautiful, and that's where the power and beauty comes from. And that goes with absolutely anybody. Doesn't matter what you look like, what gender, what age. Remember that. And especially if you're that person in a jail cell or in the hospital or wherever. Just keep believing and have faith. And you'll come out of there running. Let loose, live free. Because that's how God works. That prayer was for you, baby. From your boy Sammy D. Jacob Israel. David. Two, two, two. Did you guys find your tin? Oh, we're here. Hope you all found your dude. <laughs> yep, I popped up at four this morning. Just like in Marine Corps boot camp. That shit's gonna stay with me for a while. <laughs> we woke up at four and it seemed to just keep happening that way. It's good. Uh, the better, the earlier, like my father-in-law always says, love you so much. Wait, earlier the better, you know. Plus, it gets you going all day. Just make, you know, beside, you know, make sure you just, especially if you have a family man, make sure you eat, drink water, have your coffee. Not too much coffee for me. Uh, definitely going to get in my PT run. Definitely. No doubt. Especially, this, you know, the weather in summer. Um, and then bada bing, bada boom. Just keep uh, going with the flow and surfboarding, and it's very, uh, ch it's chill, it's very chill. I was watching some cool Snoop Dogg earlier with Boozy, and they're my cool homies, dude. You know me, dude. <laughs> Little, uh, oily, oily, oily. Um, and I'm gonna do... <sighs> not like church today because I went like five times already this week and I'm probably going tomorrow but I'm still going to do church in other words like 
because this is kind of like a trip. But also, um, I'm going to be doing, I'm doing it right now. Um, Bible studies and, uh, you know, what's it called? Online churches or whatever. And you can do that. They can sing and praising and do with a bunch of people and it's beautiful. So either way, you do it. It's Jesus, you know, it's Christian, Catholic. And that's power. And that's God. So... I still do it. I mean, I do that pretty much 24-7 anyways. <clears throat> yeah, especially after, like, yeah. And, I don't know, like I said, since it's July 4th, I, just, uh, <laughs> I mean July 2nd, 222, two, two, which is, a lot of angels have been giving me signs about that. So I want to go ahead and utilize that. Plus, I just want to show off my cool Pokemon shirt. I love this shirt. Yeah. Now I'm taking it off. Oh snap. Sorry babe. My wife sees this, I'm sorry. Alright, there we go. I didn't mean to take it up take off that much. <sighs> Story of my life. David. You haven't seen nothing yet. Uh but any users. I love you all so much. Um will be a look of Crimean King, man. And I'm gonna keep doing this like every day. And I'm glad I switched to this channel. Actually, I was going over the uh, the ones on my other channel. Um, they're both the same. They're both me, like I always say. And they're really, I thought there was like a whole lot. Once again, that's just me overthinking. There's really not that much. And now I'm starting this one. I'm building this up. And then it's like me and my wife balancing the two. But mostly, I mean, you just see me. Because that's kind of like how it is. It's like you see like a queen. I, I'm like a queen. I'm like Sarah. That, you know, or like that's, we do that in a cute way. Um, you know, verse role plays kind of thing. Not, fuck it, dude. Yeah. So, like, I'll be like the queen, but behind me, you know, it's, you know, Jesus could be a female, I dare may, may say, you know? Well, but that that's how it is, anyways, with my marriage, kingdom marriage. It's like, I'm like that, number two, queen, even though I'm a dude. And then I got the lion of Judah behind me, on my, you know, my, my king, my, who's a girl, who's a woman, obviously, my wife. And then above her is just not even. You know what I'm saying? It's higher than I can. It's the Jesus Christ, Lord and Savior Almighty and Yahweh. The Lord God. I just saying it. Aren't you getting pumped up of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Israel, you know, which all of us can be beloved, you know, unless you want five on it, 10, 20, 30, but don't matter. Good. That's what I thought. <laughs> you always got to do this. Like, like the rock but also since I didn't do one last weekend like uh, I had a nice weekend with my wifey and it was fun uh, I decided to do one today since it's Saturday and once again since it's special it's like a holiday weekend and plus it's entrepreneurship and I don't know I'm already up I got up God woke me up at uh, 3 4 a.m. once again it's kind of early and uh I know it's for a reason, so here I am. Um, I'm just trying to think of what he would want me to talk about. I watch, you know, I'm already knocked out. Maybe just how y'all doing? Everybody doing good? showing up and coming to my head is what I've already kind of talked about this week and that is um, just show up man um, just make sure you show up you don't have to perform the best you don't have to be the strongest the hardest or anything like that uh, got the beach music just make sure you show up like what I'm doing right now especially when you're a family man like me and you have a lot of people who love you and accountability I mean I know you got yourself and all that but pop your face in you know just like hey forever this resonates with call your mom or dad who love you talk to your siblings go for a run or a walk just to show the neighborhood people you care about or whatever or people who drive and stalk you <laughs> not just kidding but like watch over you there you go um, that you're doing alright you know go out and say what's up to someone you know 
your neighbors. Holla, do a salute, say a good morning, say a good afternoon, say a happy holidays. I say, like yesterday I was on my phone and I see this one guy here, just, this is the be friendly thing, be kind, here, Emily, listen. So like, I do it, I, I walk the walk and talk the talk, baby girl. You know what I'm saying? I'm your in introverted yet extroverted older freaking brother, Sammy, the fifth. Everybody loves the fifth, right? Like my father. Uh, so I go out and I see this one dude riding his bike all the time. And that's it's tight, it's dope. And like, I don't know, like, <laughs> I just saw him pull up and, you know, I'm, I'm feeling and feeling good. I'm just like, good morning. He always waves to me. So, and I, I noticed that. So he was in front of me. So, like, I had to, like, kind of catch up to him. But then he pulled up in his driveway and he was talking to He was saying hi to his wife. And I was just like, in his, on his bike. And I was like, good morning. But he, but he just, like, he, he didn't turn around and look at me. He just, like, went like that. So like I'm not sure he knew it was me. So I was like, "Hey, it's a good morning." I said, "Good morning." He's like, hey, "Good morning." I was like, "Hey, it's the runner, the Italian guy. He always runs." He, and then he's like, "I know, I know. Good morning." <laughs> like it was so, it's just so cool. Man. So that's how you know how. That's the neighborhood parish stuff I love. You know, I call it my parish because the church is right there in my school. But that's it. It's just. And I'll be running and just waving to people. And if someone's looking down, I'll be like, oh, I'm doing I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Just pop your head out. That's another reason why I love running and working out outside, too. I'm like, gyms are cool and all that, but I've been there, done that. I even worked in a gym, and it's just, it's, I like being out there. Tarzan Tanisha style. Yeah. I have went from running in the hills of Pennsylvania with my cousins and all, well, while they're inside, I'll be out running on the hills of Pennsylvania, all the way down to South Carolina, Paris Island, North Carolina, Cape Lejeune, <laughs> Fort Lee, Virginia. I've worked out many places. Connecticut, been to New York, Florida, when I was younger. But maybe that's something I can knock out. Of course, everywhere in Maryland, Ocean City, you know, all the time, beautiful. I've done a lot of running, baby, and I continue to do it. I look good, and I feel good, and it's the best workout and exercise for you, and, uh, yeah, and, uh, like when my wife told me a couple years back, she said, uh, it was just a really deep moment, and she was like, if it wasn't for your running, for your running, I don't think we would have even, like, ever met. And I was just like, wow, that's a really deep, romantic, beautiful thing to say. And that's how I feel right now. I just feel, maybe feel kind of like, wow, walls broken down like shit. You know what I'm saying? And it was, just, we're having like, we're eating like Taco Bell or something. One of our meals, Chipotle, one of our, one of our meals. And it was just a beautiful moment. And I'll just share it with you guys. Share. Sharing is caring. Remember that stuff when we were little too? I got a freaking, I got a, Rejog, no pun intended, all your memories. Hey, the band swag. Check it, amen. Amen. Sometimes you gotta be your own uh, cheerleader as well, your own personal trainer, to end up like this. I believe in you. It's a good Saturday, man. Feeling great. Healthy, strong, young, handsome, black. Couldn't ask for anything better. What do you say, huh? Don't want to over hydrate. Anyway. So, a goal that I'm going to do today is listen. So right now, since it's early in the day, it's 7 a.m., I'm doing my entrepreneurship. I do that so for the rest of the day or weekend or whatever, I can go ahead and just be an open book for people. I can be transparent or transcendent, whatever you guys use today. That's kind of like a youngin's word. A lot of people who are like, like to use those words, so, you know. <laughs> I'm, I'll be open-minded for you, like open book and all that. Um, so I'm going to get on my stuff today early. I was thinking of the movie Crooked Arrows. Uh, I beat the sun. You know, he was talking to the coach. The coach went on like a run, like a jog in the movie Crooked Arrows. 
and one of the elders of the village, a Native American, he was just like, there was a time when you beat the sun, you know, literally the sun, because it was a sunrise on his jaw, Ugh, excuse me, so like, you know, I woke up, I wake up, I love waking up, and it's still dark, and I was feeling good and awake, so I just looked out, and it was still dark, and I said that, like, I felt that, like, the elder, like, God, some, you know, was speaking to me, it was like, that. congratulations, you beat the sun, like, I did, just like how that co he told the coach to this in Crooked Arrow, there was a time when you beat the sun. In other words, he was he was trying to say, you're starting to lose your step. You know, what's happening, coach? You're getting old there, bud. All that stuff. You know, you used to be able to up and gunning. What happened? You know, with all due respect. So you got your D midi right here, your number four right here, who if the Black Panther, whatever you want to call me. If the coach can't beat the sun, hey. You got the Sigma right here. I got this. I got it. I got it. Sigma swag. I got it. it was the time when you beat the sun. So I was waking up. I, I know I sound kind of cocky, but I feel great. And uh, I, there's a reason to feel. I don't like that word. It's confidence. And every damn right to be to. I mean, I think you guys kind of know about me and my past and the accomplishments. And I'm a happy man. A family man. I'm a happy man. I have a lot of. I'm a. I'm, a, I'm very uh, humble. I'm very confident for a reason. I'm very blessed by God, and I realize that. And uh, I use my voice for good. And I'm very educated. Knowledge is key. Beach bum knowledge. No, it's real knowledge. Um, I'm a man of God. Um, I'm strong, athletic. Like I said, I'm not being cocky. Say it to yourself. I'm doing this in my entrepreneurship because I, I got to let you guys know sometimes because you don't want no uh, geek off the streets, right? You don't want no nerd. You don't want no hobo. You, want, you don't want no freaking... Uh, Esau, you know, you want a, a nice, clean, inside and out personal trainer, purified, educated, natural, no drugs. I don't even drink it that much, you know, every now and then with my wife, but that, you know, just so you guys know. Honest, strong, spiritual, caring, understanding, good listener, good speaker. Motivated, inspir inspirational, personal trainer, entrepreneur, me, friend, whatever you want to call me. Who gets up early. Oh, and USMC Marine Corps veteran. Hello. The best branch in the world for a reason. Hoorah, Senator Fidelis. Who has a good, and it all stems from God and family. My girl, my wife my son and etc etc and uh so yeah once again you beat the sun and i didn't even go in my workout yet you know all right so anywho there's enough about me and uh let's see The importance of sharing. The importance of sharing, listening, not judging, and <clears throat> the main one I want to talk about is music and humor. The importance of godly light humor. When I talk about godly light humor, not mocking, not bullying, that is the opposite. And you get dealt with big time. That's targeting, that's narcissism, that's malicious, that's picking. And that's when Archangel Michael and the angels and God come in and be like, with their leather jackets or whatever, like, you, you, got something, you, you crazy? Like, what's going on? You know? So the importance of having, so I'll let the angels handle that one. Big man, because I want to do. I'm, I want to be positive. Be overly positive. Be humorous. Be smile. Like Tupac has this quote. I love Tupac. You got to learn to smile through the bad times, whether good or bad. And then when you smile through those bad times, whether you're like, if you like, if you have bad stuff going, trials and tribulations, if you're going through any hardships, smile, man. Like what? Is, or Jack Sparrow, like, um, close your eyes and pretend it's all a bad dream. You know. 
think positive thoughts. Peter Pan, and makes yourself smile. Like, uh, I want to do something. And remember that, to just use that laugh. Snort, use your laugh, man. Just never stop smiling. If someone's stupid, be like, huh. Uh, just know that, let your all your anxieties. I know we all get anxious and we all get nervous. Let that all go. Let God, let go and let God. <laughs> I'm being serious right now. I sound like such a church geek. But I'm so serious, dude. I'm always serious. Like, it's not like that stupid joke. Oh, why so serious? Sit up, Joker. Knock out. Like, <laughs> it's be, don't be a clown like that, obviously. And you'll get beat up. Like, or maybe you might get something from Corporal Dumpsha or one of my buddies, 144. But, <laughs> I got you, baby. Um, be cool, man. Like, uh, and be humorous, keep stay light, and uh, no boundaries. Boundaries, of course, too. And like, uh, you know what I'm saying? I mean, me and my girl, at least, we are the most funny people ever when it comes. Like, we keep it light, and we just never, we never forget that. So, whether you're drinking or not, of course. And well, I hope you guys aren't like that. I hope you don't think you have to drink to have a good time, because that is really bad. But uh, remember to keep smiling, keep it light, have a good time, and it's okay to, and, but when you don't feel like that, I know it's okay to fake it, fake it, but like, it's, but also know it's okay, it's God protecting you in a way, you could be tired, you could be something else, sometimes when you're a twin flame or you have a kingdom marriage like me, you feel a lot of your, uh, your wife or husband's energy like me, me right now like I'm, I'm feeling the extra I know this is gonna sound weird a Black Panther feminine there I said it okay how's that for breaking down the walls I feel extra fem go ahead and judge me I don't care I'm married to a beautiful wife but I pick up a lot of her, her energies is bipolar no it's not bipolar it's bipolar opposites because we're yin yang twin flames if anything it's a power it's a, a blessing from God it's the Adam and Eve connected spiritually physically and emotionally 144 kingdom marriage it makes us stronger go ahead and judge you're the one who's lonely and stupid and has no family and whatnot oh damn did i i hope i'm stepping on some toes right now baby see that it's called love that's called love true love i'm feeling it man i'm telling you and i love talking about it too so like that was Antonisha. See you. And I feel bad. I really, that's why I feel bad for people who don't have that. Because I'm rooting for you, dude. I'm rooting for you. Girl, boy, whatever. I'm rooting for you. Like, I don't need to put any pictures up. We used to do that back in the day. Any pictures up on social media. It's just because it, it's, once again, that shows a lot of weakness and a lot of that's fake. Sorry to tell. Once again, just being honest. So it's nice to have that without doing all that because that's what it is like back in the olden days like with our grandparents like this is true love miss love the be the loca and we play together and we have fun together all the time so it literally is Peter Pan and it's so beautiful how you say things there's another thing I learned this from my wives too you speak it into existence or write it down or do something or even better keep, don't and again then God will somehow still bless it that's beautiful too but it, I like it. It's even more. It's really beautiful today for nowadays to help you guys out. Uh, only if it's positive, of course. If you speak anything negative or bad on anybody, God's going to be like, what the? Take it and he's going to throw it in your face. And that's called karma. My karma, once again, is so fucking good from all the, from a lot of uh, negative stuff that people will put me through in my family. Our karma is like, our legacy is golden forever. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Thank you, us. Look at that wife. My son, all of us told you we got this but so that's cool <laughs> so that's cool <laughs> that's pretty cool isn't it <laughs> dude but uh you, you speak it into existence that's cool too like if it's positive like it praying you know but there's no there's a there's a term that people who aren't really like big on that i understand dude trust me look at me <laughs> but if you just speak it into existence, you can write it down, write it in your notes on your phone or whatever, and uh, it could happen, dude. Like what I'm saying right now, like the whole this is, I've spoken into existence with my wife. She's done the same, and we've like put it out there because we care. It's like we're gonna make it happen. We're really, uh, we're really uh, motivated, and we're um, 
we never give up we never give in that's one of my quotes too never give up and never give in let loose live free and here we are man we, we keep beating our craft like even when, whether i'm cooking or whether i'm doing anything i beat my craft uh I make sure you know it's, it's my art to make sure it's uh efficient enough not perfect nothing's perfect but um, above average part you know efficient as it, maybe it's the sicilian italian in me renaissance there you go beyonce uh it's so true you know you can call me freaking leonardo dantello pablo picasso <laughs> rambo fucking yeshua like you can be yeshua i'd rather be uh little, i don't know you know what i'm saying okay now i'm getting to sj finesse i like that shout out to miller i got you brother happy independence day dude thank you i got you forever and ever always you know you already know musical chairs forever brother i can't wait to get you already know but um and then one more thing and i'm gonna say and then i'm gonna say something else i'm gonna go with my run too uh perfect 11. okay uh, 222, 11, 11, big angel numbers, angel numbers, um, yeah, I got my fan, right now, the Moana heart, the heart, I got it still, don't worry, even when I don't got it, but it's in my fanny pack, because even when I go on my runs, on my workouts or whatever, I, I keep my fanny pack, all my important stuff in there, you know, daddy, daddy duties, DD, <laughs> David Dumpshaw, daddy duties, you know, like the pacifier, you know, um, I keep that in the, that as well. And like, if I take off my rings, don't worry, babe. Once again, it's still in me. Of course, we're married forever. You already know, but I put it in my, uh, you know, fanny pack as well. <laughs> the Frank, Frank the fanny. <laughs> so like, yeah. But if you speak it into existence, then um, as long as it's part of God's will, that will help out even more. And it's it's of course only up to God and Yahweh you know jesus christ but if you do speak it into existence and work with him and correspond with that and do then that will make it like you know in your own way that for your family that much more joyful and beautiful and stuff you know i'm an aries i'm a young soul so i like doing that i always put, and i like uh yeah that's how i work with the lord um in my personal way and that's how it's always been ever since i was little um including you know, I was talking about, it's funny how we were talking about the grocery list for a little five-year plan and how, but now I'm being straight up with you. When I was younger and stuff, it was always, I would write, even when I was in boot camp, I will make sure I wrote it down, and but I would always just pray about it and keep it in my head no matter what. And that was from the big things that I've all done, including when I was in training and becoming a United States Marine. All my years in college and finally graduating college. Um, and what I'm doing now, uh, get, being getting with my girl, man. Holy crap! Like I'm, I'm so, I was so fucking. I can't even go into how I still, I still get shy and freaking nervous around her, man. <laughs> In a good way, it, it makes love that much better because it's true love. It's natural, and it, it's actually it's it's supernatural. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? If you do, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> You know, freaking having our son and all that. Oh my God! Who would have thought that little Sammy, the youngest boy in the whole family, you know, number five, the youngest boy, the young Mowgli, having young Mowgli, yeah, having our son and so young, and now look at us, man. And like they're saying, it's like the movie Cheer, Cheer by Dozens, and like when he's telling Sarah, like, not so big steps. Like I know, I know, I'm trying, I know, I'm trying, but. I'll always be the, i always be that little one, all right? Little Mowgli, all right? And just now, it's like Tarzan and Tanisha, I got my ladies, man. Thank God. That's how God, because literally, I got my son, of course, family, and Jesus Christ. And like, when I say ladies, it's, that's ladies, as in, it's respectful. I always have the utmost, obviously, respect for women, no matter what. Whether I cuss sometimes or not. Or fucking, that means, that's fucking beautiful. That's even more real. They don't want no fucking fake. I'll tell you that. Don't want to get too much into that. I'm sorry, honey. My angels, etc., etc. But that's how God is. God put me in a position where literally I made it through everything solely because of Jesus Christ and my wife slash angels and like me and my son. Like when it was us against the world. And now, well, you know, not literally, but you know, that's how it felt. And now look at us. That's it. And then God gives the favor to people who go through all that, like Jacob. Israel, literally me, and being anointed as <laughs> David, David, uh, and that's Samuel, that's the story, that's a little story of me, that's more than a story, it's a, that's the beautiful thing, beautiful thing about it, it's a never-ending story, 
And I was thinking of like, you know how people have album names and stuff. I'm a hip hop influence. I'm a, I'm an artist. I rap. I freestyle and all that. Libido Loca, Caribbean King, whatever. I can change my name to Louis, I, Luigi. It don't matter, dude. Skittles. I have fun. But I don't need to actually put like, <laughs> you know, all these albums and stuff. But I, I was just thinking to myself because that's how I do it. And then I speak it into existence. If I had an album or whatever, it would be one big album, but it would just keep going continually, continuously, and it would just be called like the never-ending story. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? There you go. You don't gotta keep throwing out ideas and going through all that stuff. It's that flow. I told you I'm a surfer, dude. It's just that flow, dude. That's the tune. It's beautiful. Look, we're doing Tai Chi right now, and it's beautiful. I am. We are. Cause I'm involving you guys in this. You're welcome. Hey, and thank you. Remember that? Remember that? It's called being polite. It's called manners. King. <laughs> I love you guys, man. Uh, good morning. Good morning. Buenos dias. It's about, look, 31. Perfect. And the last thing I want to say is that I also... Speaking into existence, when I do, or next, my next big blessing and miracle, when I get it, I already made a promise. I'm going to do and bust out. Where's SJF at? Where are my people at? Two class of 2008. Where everybody at? I might wear a beanie. I'm gonna do the motherfucking break dance and spin a Rooney. Whether I'm outside, whether I'm in my room, whether I'm some way. I'm not gonna videotape it, but I'm gonna do it, and I'll make sure. You guys all know, because I'm saying it right now, that it's going to be any second now. That's the beauty of it. Money in the bank. Sound bleep. That's all I want. That's the last thing I want to say. All right. So, 222, 7.21 a.m. And I hope you all have a great one. All right. Stay sober. Stay vigilant. Stay fresh. Stay swaggly. Stay oiled up. Virgins and brides of Christ. Know you are loved. God loves you. Jesus Christ loves you. I love you. Um, love yourself. Love others. Everybody goes through hardships. Everybody goes through hard stuff. Everybody goes through tough things. That's, you know. How do you think Jesus Christ felt, bro? <sighs> Don't get me started. Punches Pilot, I'm calling up Goldberg. You're next. <laughs> that was many years ago. It was two, over 2,000 years ago. So we could talk about it with this light humor and smile. That's the, it's so fucking beautiful that he did all that, the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, on a cross just so we could just sit here and not completely cry and feel bad about it, even though it's always in our soul. You can kind of hear, you can hear it in mine, as, of course. You know, we're all children of God. We all come from our Father. So he's all still in us. But so we can smile a little bit and make jokes like that and light humor and try to spread that good vibrations and beautiful, beauty. beauty and empower other people through because uh, we have that I have that Holy Spirit inside of me I, so I'm going to empower others but you know this is my way of doing it for, for now and one thing I always love to say is uh, until further notice yeah and I will notice you just like how I talked about yesterday in the movie 127 hours how every time he went somewhere the dude Aaron who ended up surviving he had to cut off his own arm and shit he, he had bad shit happened after that he was like he still continued doing what he was doing conquering literally climbing mountains and shit and then it was like but then everywhere now if he goes somewhere he always leaves a note because when all that happened he didn't no one knew where he went so no one could find him so like after all that thank god he's alive right and he ended up getting married and having kids his aspirations came true oh my god I knew there was a reason why I wanted to talk about that yesterday. And that's what I just talked about earlier in this movie. I didn't, I mean, this uh, speech, I literally did not plan that. James Franco, I fucking love you, dude. <laughs> I didn't plan that. See how we all meet? Like that? Wow. Uh, see, I, I knew I was so um, in tuned and touched by that movie when I was younger. I remember watching it when I was younger. And now, still now. Even if it's just a measuring water, make sure I drink water or anything. I knew I was done. 127 hours. And anyways, and then everywhere he goes now, he'll leave a note. So that, that's what I do in a way. I'll make a text message. I'll tell someone. I'll, do, I'll go on here. i let it be known. Wow, that's beautiful. How, see, I told you those are the anointed movies. 
anointed th things are anointed you'll feel it in your spirit that's why I'm always open to everything you know in a holy Ten Commandment Jacob way, you know, not in a bad way that will lead you down dark places. But know there's always a light at the end of the tunnel, and that light is the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and I am a walking truth of that, and so is my wife, and so is my son, and all of us in this world because of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And remember that forever. Happy Independence Day, 222. Once again, um, you know, y'all have a good one, all right? I see you around. Stay loose. I lose, live free. Never give in. Never give up. Mm -hmm.